Good morning, gang. I'm going to make this intro kind of quick. I got Ruger crying for breakfast. But uh, I've had a lot of comments and concern from pet parents, which is great that folks have concern about feeding dogs. And I feed my dogs the barf diet. Let's let these knuckleheads out. It's funny, they all know which dish is theirs. And now the puppy gets to come out. Now the BARF diet stands for Biologically Appropriate Raw Food. And what we need to think is the closest to nature that we could get for our dog is what their wild cousins would be eating. And they do eat bones, and they do eat skin, and they do eat some organs, and they do eat some intestines and stomach contents. Um, today is just a protein feeding. It is chicken leg quarters. Now, they're partially frozen. Uh, they're a lot easier for my dogs to eat when they're partially frozen because their teeth actually slice through everything easier instead of the meat being squishy and jiggly. Now the only thing that you'll see that's different is for my pug. Now he can eat a raw leg and stuff like that. It takes him a long time. And sometimes he can kind of get where he gets choked on like the big pieces of cartilage and things like that. And I have to help him. So to keep him from having unneeded stress, he has raw chicken with the bone and skin and fat. It's all minced up with a big heavy duty meat cleaver. And this helps him get the right ratio of calcium, protein, and fats, and even some fibers from the skin. You know, there's also a lot of talk about how hard it is to really feed raw. Well, let's just look at nature. You know, it really has a good proportion for this animal to exist in nature, in the wild, by eating things like a rabbit. Has a right ratio of bone to muscle to organ to some fiber in the skin and other tissues. Or a chicken. Or a wild turkey. Or a deer. Anything like that. You know, a dog or a coyote or wolf might even eat fish. I know in Canada, there are a bunch of wolves that live on an island and one of their primary things for their diet is salmon. They go out and they catch it and they eat it. So there's a lot of things that uh, we think should just be like kibble in a bag or a box on the shelf at the store. And that is the farthest thing from eating something natural. And yeah, there might be, you know, good nutrition and balance, you know, nutrition and the spray on it. That's actually the synthetic vitamins. And it'd just be like us eating cereal. Even if we're eating a good cereal that's fortified with like nine essential vitamins and minerals, you know, that's not really what we need for our diet to be complete. For us as humans, we need different things. Now, there's other feedings that I do with my dogs. And there are organ feedings where they get to eat organs and they get some fruits and vegetables that might mimic the contents of an animal's stomach or little things they would um, scavenge and eat. And they also get some different kinds of oils to help with inflammation in their coat and digestion. And you see he's come over to check Brother's dish out. Nine. But you can't take Brother's chicken. I'll step in the way and I'll stop it. But uh, those are our organ feedings uh, where they get a, a lot of the different nutrients. Now, I also feed my dogs daily multivitamins and different things that do help their diet. Um, I don't just rely on this, but this is a lot more healthy. It's a lot more close to whole foods. It's a lot more natural for dogs. And look at all this. You see that little bit of just normal posturing? If there was a wolf pack eating a kill. I just stepped in and it diffused it. I don't have to punish my dogs. I just have to have clear and calm leadership. And everything I do for my dogs is out of love, even letting them eat like this. It is a hobby. It is a lifestyle. It can be expensive. But I am going to post some videos on how to enhance regular kibble diets 
and how to just add a nice fresh diet like this once a week or something else that can